Welcome fume heads. How you doing? <laughs> Me, I've been better. I'm going on day seven of having the flu. Oh, and it's been marvelous, let me tell ya. <laughs> uh, I wasn't really planning on making a video today uh, that I'm burning up and sweat is just pouring out of me, but I got the fires brewing inside today. The passion coming alive. <laughs> and I love that about this hobby, man. You know, the passion is just strong. Love that. And today I was on Facebook and came across a, a review from Katie Puckrick on your Sauvage. <laughs> and I'm not going to get into that review because Daver and I plan on shooting a response video together uh, on that review tomorrow night, so that should be a whole lot of fun. Uh, but something else came about today that I wanted to kind of share my thoughts on, and that was I got, I was talking with a subscriber today, and we were talking about that. Uh, review from Katie Puckrick and I got to saying how you know a review like that can sway people's minds from someone you know of Katie Puckrick's stature or uh, any of ours I guess that have been around the game for a while when you say something like that it can make people like once people who it, it can sway people's minds, I guess. Like maybe you liked it at one time, and now you're gonna be like, "Oh my God, I can't believe I was wearing that." Katie said it sucks, or Dan said it sucks, or Mark said it sucks, or whatever, you know. And I don't like to see that. And it, my, my point was kind of proven because the subscriber today that I was talking with said, "Yeah, Dan, if I would have read that." from her, I would have totally dismissed it, said, no way, that stuff's garbage, that stuff's crap. And that got me thinking, why I wanted to make this video is to just urge people and reinforce the fact, trust yourself, believe in yourself. Uh, nobody, as far as I'm concerned, is an expert when it comes to perfumery. Some of us, granted, uh, get a little more educated, uh, but I would say far from being experts. You know, um, like me, for example. I have been doing this for, what, six years, maybe more now? And it's more than just a passion. I mean, this is woven, knitted deeply into my life. Day in, day out type of thing. I live my hobby. Love this. Yeah. And six years, that's longer than most people spend in a college education. So would you consider that being well-educated in perfumery? I mean, uh, hundreds and hundreds, cases, boxes, uh, tubs <laughs> filled with essential oils. Thousands and thousands of fragrances, you know. I've sniffed over the years. I've just immersed myself deeply into this. And would I consider myself an expert? Far from it, man. Never have I even come close to thinking I was an expert. Have I become more educated? Yes. Do I know what the hell I'm talking about? Not all the time. No way. <laughs> do I do my best at what I think I'm talking about? I try. Damn right. <laughs> my honesty is what I always deliver. That's what I think. You know, and pretty much that's the best that most of us, all of us, can do. You know, unless you're the person that created the perfume. You're not gonna know. <laughs> no way. And an expert to me, who would be an expert in perfumery, man, is someone who's lived it his whole life, who's been a perfumer, spent spending his days in and out mixing stuff seeing what they do and how they react because you know it's crazy the variables are infinite with all of the different oils out there and even it could be the same oil different regions different manufacturers different ways how they produce them just endless and then the way these oils when they meet together they could come together to create a whole new entity a whole new life it's like mixing paint colors man a drop of this, a drop of that, and pretty soon you got something new. You know? So how can you really know? You just do the best you can with what you've learned. 
in life and what you've learned about perfumery and how it plays out for you. And, and I just want, I don't know, I just want people to like not be afraid. Believe in yourself. Uh, if you think something is great, speak up for it. I mean, I get dissed. Like I've, I've made reviews where I think <laughs> fragrances suck. <laughs> Versace arrows. Gucci made to measure and I get comments on those videos all the time people <laughs> People bashing me for it. You know, what? I don't care. Why why don't I care because I was speaking my truth and My truth just so happens to be helpful for some people not for everybody But for some people it has been and what can I do except for to speak my truth? but I love it when people come out and they and they and they challenge me and they tell me why they love it. That's great. That's the kind of passion that I love to see. You know, nobody getting angry. Like when me and Dave do this video response to Katie Puckrick tomorrow night, it's not going to be up to like bash Katie Puckrick. No, this is like friendly bantering. <laughs> the way that it should be fun, all of us enjoying our hobby. We're not going to all agree. And that's okay, but it's okay to disagree, for sure. You don't have to follow, like if I say something is awesome or it sucks, you don't have to believe it. Believe it for yourself, man. You know, like Dior Sauvage, when I made that review, I absolutely love that review that I did of Dior Sauvage. So that's how I feel about that. But I get comments on there where people, the people that hate it, the haters, and they talk about... And they talk about how it's bad to them. Uh, I don't, I, I don't see that. But I'm glad they're speaking their mind, man. I'm glad they're getting the conversation rolling, and I'm glad they have their own opinion. That's great. <laughs> you know, I may be, I might be rambling on, cause man, <laughs> I'm telling you, I can't think straight right now. Uh, but I just, I don't know. I just wanted to stress the fact to people out there, newbies out there. You may not know exactly what's going on, and you probably never will. You'll just get a little bit better educated, but trust your nose. Trust yourself. What's golden to you? Ride with it. Love it, man. You know? And don't give up on your spirit. <laughs> there are plenty of fragrances that uh, I could have ducked and run from a long time ago. Like, I've been a big supporter of Ed Hardy's Love and Luck and Blue to Chanel <laughs> over the years uh, and still am, you know. I'll stand by my guns. Damn right. <laughs> that's right. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I think that's enough rambling. <laughs> uh, but what do you guys think about this whole rant, topic, <laughs> whatever. I gotta go lay back down. Please feel free to share your thoughts so I can lay in bed in misery and have something to read. <laughs> but anyways, uh, Daver and I, we will see you tomorrow night for some more fragrance fun with your Sauvage. <laughs>